The word baptized above my head refers to spirit baptism and is easily proven that it's spirit baptism. First thing we got to prove is that Jesus baptizes not with water, but with the Holy Ghost. This is what Mark chapter 1 verse 8 says, John the Baptist speaking. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he, Jesus, shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Also refer to Matthew chapter 3 verse 11, Luke chapter 3 verse 16, and John chapter 1 verse 33. The first part of the verses above my head make it clear that the lost person must believe the gospel. Now the gospel is defined at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4, which is the death of burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, a lost person that believes on that Jesus, the right Jesus of the Bible, will receive Jesus. How do I know that? John chapter 1 verse 12 says, But as many as received him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, him alone and nothing else, we also receive the Holy Spirit. How do I know that? Jesus tells us that at John chapter 7, verse 38 and 39. Jesus speaking, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. What's living water? He's going to tell us in the next verse, it's the Holy Spirit. And he's going to tell us in the next verse, when we receive the Holy Spirit, when we believe on Jesus. Okay, here's verse 39. But this spake he of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. So when you believe on Jesus, you receive the Holy Ghost. This is also confirmed if you look at Acts chapter 10, verse 43 and 44. This is where Peter is witnessing to Cornelius. In verse 43 of Acts chapter 10, Cornelius believes, and guess who shows up immediately in verse 44? The Holy Ghost. So bottom line, you believe on Jesus, you receive the Holy Ghost. Now, what does the Holy Ghost do when we receive Him? Well, He baptizes us. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13 says, For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body. That's the body of Christ. Also cross-reference Galatians chapter 3, verse 27. Now, the last part of the verses above me say, But he that believeth not shall be damned. Well, obviously, if you don't believe on the Savior, you will not receive Him, you will not be born again, you will not be saved, you will not have eternal life. Now, it's very important as far as water baptism. Once a person is saved, they should get water baptized. It's a good work. How do I know it's a good work? Because Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, Jesus says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Can you see water baptism? Yes, it is a good work. Also look at Acts chapter 7, verse 41. When men hands get involved in it, it's a work. Now we know from several Bible verses that good works are not required to be saved. Take a look at Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9, and Titus 3, 5. Bottom line, the word baptized above my head refers to spirit baptism, not water baptism.